I just thought I'd come on today for a quick chat about um, something that I said that I would address on here um, about how I work with the angels. Um, I know a lot of people um, think uh, angels, um, are, you know, whatever, you know, everybody's opinion is different. Um, to me, they are being a help uh, in my life in a big way. Um, they're not all of that what I am. They're not all of what I do. They're not all of my spiritual self. They're a part of it um, to go alongside and work alongside with other things. But there's some their um, energy I will call upon quite often, especially when um, I need them for certain things. So they are some you know an energy that I will call upon. They're very easy to work with angels. All you have to do is ask them. Um, they won't interfere. Um, and you, unless you ask them to um, but if you ask them then they will help um, and I've found that in all the time that I've worked with them I started working with angels about six years ago in a particularly um, dark period of time for me In um, it, there was no main reason why I was down um, just lots of things where you know in life where you become overwhelmed and um, you're not quite sure where to turn for help that kind of you know everything starts getting on top of you you know lots of things going on all at once and it was that kind of time of period to pe period of time that i um, i got my first angel deck um i found them by accident and um, there was messages from the angels and it was drawing virtue deck and i ordered them thinking i'll give them a go at that point i'd only got one tarot still and that one i'd been working with since 1991 um, but when I go through these darker periods of time, I don't want to pull out the uh, tarot. I want something a bit more gentle. So I hadn't worked with them for a little while, and they'd be still in. Uh, when I just moved home, and they were still packed away in a box somewhere, I hadn't even took them out of the box. Um, so I bought my first angel deck, and um, from that very first time I opened them, I knew it was the right thing from here. I, I'll never forget the strange experience they had when I, they come through the post because I got them from eBay and I'd opened them. Uh, two butterflies popped into my kitchen at the same time as I was opening them and they sat on my, well one sat on my shoulder and one was sat on my head and it was such a weird weird feeling of these two butterflies just getting themselves comfortable on me. They'd never done that before even though I love butterflies they'd never come and perch on me but they actually did the day I opened my angel cards which was really strange. Um, but that was the beginning of my um, love to work with the angel energy. Um, I did love that deck um, and the messages was on the front of the card it was just like a little picture at the top and then a little message at the bottom um, but it helped me through the dark times um, with the soft gentle messages I sorry about that just had one of the neighbours just pop down quick so I had to stop the recording and I can't even remember where I was but yes so um, let me think where was I the first deck that I got and the butterflies I believe but yeah um, so that was my first deck and then I bought Healing with the Angels I think was the next deck I bought um, and then I started really looking into the different angels um, and the different um, way that they could help you and how you could call upon them and like I said I found the easiest way was just to ask them simply ask them and um, I read an awful lot about them and there's so much information out there um, that you're never short sure of finding um, what you're looking for if you know when you're first starting out now i work with um a um quite a, f a few of the main ones but not all of them there is hundreds of angels out there all for different kinds of things i tend to work with just the main some main ones uh, as well as my guardian angel who um i believe we all have a guardian angel when we're born as well as a spirit um spirit guides to what we're born with a main spirit guide and a main guardian angel that's my belief and like i said angels aren't just part of it are just part of my practice and um, not all of it um but they are something that i do like to work with so
so the first one that I um, like to work with is Archangel Michael. He is there to protect and to clear away any, you know, um, any negativity, if you like, from your life. Um, so I call upon him quite often. He's probably the main one most people have heard of, Archangel Michael. He carries a sword. Um, when I need protection, whatever that may be in my life, whether it's spiritual protection or protection, um, I'll call upon Archangel Michael. If I need ties cleared, um, clearing away from what's tying me to situations or people that I don't want in my life, I'll ask Michael to pop along and to cut those ties from me to them. Um, so yeah, Michael is one that I use quite often. Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Healing, is another one that I use a lot, especially because I'm a healer. Um, so I call upon him quite a bit too, and always have done it. Whether it's mind, body or spirit that needs healing, I'll call upon Raphael. Um, he's also the um, Archangel of Travel, so when I'm travelling I'll very often call upon him to keep us safe and, and trouble through, trouble free as we're travelling too. Uh, Archangel Camille, um, when I've got problems in relationships, um, and not just love relationships like with your partner, but relationships as a general, whether it's with your, your family members, friends or whatever, or any work colleagues, any kind of relationships, even your relationship with yourself. Um, Archangel um, Camille is one to call upon to help with that. Um, Archangel Azrael is one that I've worked with quite a bit too. He's the angel of death. Um, he helps those who um, are passing over to pass. Um, he, ta he takes them on their journey. He, he takes them to the next phase. Um, but he's also um, the angel what will help console your grief and help you through a period of grief. Um, so there is another, another angel to work with too. Um, Archangel Gabriel is probably one where many people have heard of. Um, working with them for communication. If you need to get things out there and said and you know speak your mind or whatever you're been afraid to or if you've got any um say if you want to make a youtube video but you're feeling a bit um anxious about doing it call upon archangel archangel gabriel to help you with that because they'll help you with that um and they're the archangel of messages do you know what i mean so they'll help you get your message across um another one that i work with quite often is archangel Jophiel. Now, Jophiel will bring da uh, light into darkness, so if you're depressed or in a dark place, um, like we very often get when we suffer from depression and anxiety, then Jophiel can help bring that light into your life. Um, so that's another great angel to work with. Um, Archangel um, Raguel is another one. He helps with disputes and arguments and that kind of thing. So if you're going through a, you know, some disputes or arguments that you want to be helped with, you can call upon Archangel Raguel to help you with that. Um, Archangel Uriel is another one that I work with. Um, and he is the angel of alchemy. Um, so he helps you to bring about what you want in your life. Um, but he's also there to help you with your spiritual journey as well. So um, they're the main ones that I work with. There is others that, like I said, I'm popping in and out using if I need to. But they their main ones tend to cover everything that I need in my life and they're the ones that I mainly call upon and like I said calling upon them is so easy I just send up a message I'd like to work with you know for, for whatever reason and um, then they're there they're helping they don't help you in the ways that you expect to be helped and sometimes it's the um, you don't get it instantly the help isn't instant sometimes you have to wait for the help because it has to certain things have to be put into place before the outcome be can be shown um, but they always help they always help they've been um, great for comforting me and my family in times of deep need um, I've called upon them to help other people and they've felt the energy before I've even told them I've called upon them for them um, I use them when I do healing for other people if they want angelic healing then I would ask the angels to come close for whatever they need in their life and these people that I've used it with said that they can feel this too so this is to me a huge energy a powerful energy they're not people people with wings who sit on clouds when i feel and see the angels i see beings of energy strong powerful energy and this is how i see the angels um most people will depict them with wings and what have you it's not how i see them i've never seen any of them with wings i only like i said see them as beam of light and huge beams of light much taller than me um, 
if I said said eight nine foot tall, that probably isn't right either because I'm not very good at heights and what have you. But they are huge energy and powerful energy. And um, like I said, all you need to do to tap into that is to ask them. Is to ask. Simple as that. And they'll be there to help you. Um, and I found that time and time again. And when people poo poo to me about angels, oh, you know, you should, why are you working with them? You know, if you've not worked with them, don't knock it. Do you know what I mean, try it. Try their energy. Um, they show you how to be grateful even when, you know, things seem doubt, doubtful to be, that you have anything to be grateful for. They always try to be, show you the positives in situations. And um, there's nothing wrong in having gratitude in life and positivity in your life. Um, who wants to be negative all the time? Who wants to be ungracious all the time? Um, and angels show you a way of life where you can show gratitude and be grat grateful for the, the smaller things in life and accept that every situation has something to be grateful for. And even in their darkest days, um, there's always hope and light at the end of the tunnel. And they show you this, and that's why I love working with their energies. Like I said, it's by all no means the only thing that I work with I don't. They're not the only part of my practice, as you can see by my dream catches, etc. I love working with the um, energy of Native American. Um, my spirit guide is a Native American, um, and I will do a video on him another day. But I love that um, earth energy. Um, I love to work with the earth energy that that they talk about, um, very spiritual energy. Um, I love to work with them, and I love um, the Dalai Lama and but uh, the the, the um, philosophy if you like of the Buddha and what have you and the, the middle road and that kind of thing so that is also part of my um, my spiritual path too so it's a, mine is quite an eclectic path the angels is one part of it but it's a part that I'm not going to ignore because um, people may not think it is um, I don't know the word I'm looking for but you know what I mean not hip to work with angels or whatever you want to call it because I found them very powerful I found them very helpful um, and I've loved working with them and for a long time I've not really spoke about that and kind of tried to follow paths that not my paths at all but I'm getting back to the real me as my previous videos have said and the angels is part of the real me part of who I've been for a long long time for like few last few years and that have helped me and continue to help me and I continue to love to work with now the angel decks that I mainly love working with, I've not got them all with me because I'm at the caravan, but the ones that I have brought with me is the angels and ancestors. I love to work with ancestor um, sp um, spirit too, so this is an ideal deck for me, angels and ancestors. Um, the angels, gods and goddesses, I love that deck too. Again, that's Tony Carmine Salerno, so of course I love him. And then the first um, Tony deck that I got was the Ask an Angel. Um, so these are like the main three decks and of course this Carl Grey. And I have some Carl Grey Angel decks um, previous to this one too. And they're the ones that I love to work with. Um, they're not, they, they are depicted with wings and what have you, but I kind of got used to that. It's not the Doreen Virtue kind of fluffy winged things. Do you know what I mean? These are powerful. And Carl Gray, when he talks about them, will talk about the powerful energy of, of them. Um, it's a powerful loving energy. And like I said, you know, I know people think that, you know, you have to be religious to work with angels. You don't. I'm not religious. I'm, you know, that's not my path. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a religious path. You know, I'm finding between me for spiritually, not religiously. Um, and like I said, they're just a part of my practice. Um, um, I'm very eclectic that way, but they are a big part and I wanted to share with you how I work with them um, and why I work with them. And like I said, if you would like to work with them, there's so much out on the internet for you to call upon, even the little book slips you get in the book, you know, in the decks, tell you enough to get you started. And um, just, try, you know, just ask them to be there to help you and they will like i said it's not always instant and you may not think they've heard you but they've heard you and it will all come good in the end and you will know then um, when you look back that it's from that point in time you asked for their help that things started to get better so um i'd be interested to hear from any of you who work with the angels and um, how you see them um how you feel their energy and um how you felt that they've helped you 
Um, all I can say is they've helped me and my family through some very difficult times and I would have been lost without them and I'd lost my way on a few times without their help. Um, when I lost my dad, these the angels was the ones who got me out of this deep, deep wood that I'd got myself into and helped me come out the other side. And they have on other occasions too. So I'd be interested to know what you know, think of, and even if you don't like angels, and um, and tell me why you think you know people shouldn't work with them or, or whatever. You put it in comments below. You know, I, 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 any points of view are valid. Everybody's points of view is valid, and I will try out to all of you, even if it's not straight away because of my dodgy old eyes. But I will get back to you, all of you. And uh, I look forward to hearing your comments on what you think of working with them and why you don't work with them, etc. Speak to you all soon. Bye.